Hey guys, my name is Glass Cadman, and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's gonna be a little bit loud because the furnace is running, but it's cold outside, so just try to ignore that. Today we're gonna be going through my empties and the things that I'm getting rid of for quarter one of 2018. So January, February, and March. I know a lot of people will do this monthly, but I don't tend to finish a lot of things in one month, so I figured I would collect them to make a more substantial video for you guys. Uh, hopefully a little bit more enjoyable, I don't know. I'm trying it out. So the first thing I'm getting rid of is this uh, face powder, it's a setting powder. This is actually a blend of four face powders, the Laura Mercier, uh, the Cover FX Illuminating, Derma Blend, and I want to say there's one more in here, but I don't like it. Uh, it makes me really crease throughout the day. And I do like that it has a radiant finish since it has like a mix of all those powders in there. Um, and the Laura Mercier one and the Cover FX one are both kind of more radiant finish, but it doesn't work well together. I gave it a shot. Uh, I tried, but it's not working out. Uh, these two items took me so long to get rid of, to use up. I hated them. I don't think they're available anymore, so I don't have to worry about trying them again. But these are from Matrix, uh, it's the shampoo and conditioner, the Rocket Texture. So this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner. Um, I got this because it's supposed to have polymers in it that enhance waves in your hair. Um, and my natural hair texture is wavy, so I thought that it would be nice. But in using these, my hair was so frizzy. And like, it looks a little big today, but that's because I used uh, like a volumizing, texturizing hairspray. Um, and I would much rather use something like that than these. These are finally done. I don't know where the cap for this one is. It's probably somewhere in my bag. Buffing block for your nails. I heard these aren't really good for your nails, so that's why I'm getting rid of it, but I never used it anyway. Vitamin B12. I used up a bottle of this. I only bought this because someone said that it would help with my depression. Guess what? It didn't work. Maybe I'll have to try Halo Beauty by Tati. This from Urban Decay, this is the Meltdown Makeup Remover. Now I know last year they came out with an entire Meltdown line, and they used uh, some of the drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race to promote it, but this one they've had for a long time, um, before they made that whole range last year. I didn't like this. Um, I should have kept the box to see how you're actually supposed to use it. I tried this two ways. I massaged it into dry skin when I'm wearing my makeup and then rinsed it off. It didn't work too well that way. So then I wet my skin and then did it to take off my makeup, and it didn't work too well that way either. Um, I always had to follow through with two or three other cleansers in order to get this film off of my skin. Um, so I didn't like it. I'm not going to get it. I don't know if it's still available. I have no clue. Used up another pack of Shiseido facial cotton pads. I love these. I do have to get more because I'm running a little bit low. Um, these are great if you use you know, regular eye makeup remover, micellar water, um, I don't know what else you could really use them for, toner, whatever. They don't leave that cotton pilling on your face, which, especially me with facial hair, or at least stubble when I do shave, I hate that. So these are really, really good. They are a little bit pricier than, like, regular cotton, but in my opinion, they're worth the investment. I used up a sample of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. This is number 150 medium. Uh, this one was not my color. I actually have a bottle that is closer to my color. I don't remember what shade it is because I'm trying to use up other ones right now. It was fine. Samples from Sephora are always fun. I used up a mini Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I do like this stuff. I don't know if it's just like a placebo effect, but I like it. Um, I have a full size somewhere, but throwing this little guy away, this is one of those like brow brushes with the little blade on the end. Um, I get my brows done with Stephanie at Benefit. Uh, if you haven't seen Stephanie, she's in one of my earlier videos where I'm reviewing the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. Um, I'll put that in one of these pop-up bars, but I don't have to worry about shaping my own brows. All right, this, I really tried to finish this up last year in my project pan, but I fucked up and I made it into a cream bronzer. So this is the CK1 bronzer. Um, I was trying to use it up and I did pretty well on it, um, but this is really old. And I found ever since turning it into a cream, it's a lot more orange, which I don't know if that's like real or if that's in my mind, but
but I hate how it looks on me now. And I, I, I can't bring myself to use it. I, I don't like it anymore. It's time for it to go. Rest in peace. It did well while it did. That wasn't English. See, I finished another mist. This one was the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Hydrating Setting Mist. Um, I don't really remember. I don't think I liked this too much, but it's done. A uh, sample of the Design Essentials Sleek Max Edge Control. Um, I used this a lot last year when my hair was longer, just to kind of uh, make the little baby hairs around my forehead stay. Um, so for that, it's great if you are a person of color who really wants something to really hold firm for your hairs, especially around your face. This is a great product. Um, yeah, it's just really hard though um, to get out. This one is a little like sample tub, so I couldn't get that last little bit out of there. But all right, let's get some mascaras out of the way. Move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Alright, so I have five mascaras I'm throwing out. Holy shit. Alright, Maybelline Big Shot. I like this a lot. It's not my favorite, but for the price, it is really good. Uh, Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I feel like I'm gonna burp. There it goes. This is really nice. Um, do you really need a mascara just for your bottom lashes? Not particularly, but if you want one, it has a really tiny brush on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, I, I decided to get rid of this just because it is getting old and I just had to spend so much time to build it up on the lower lashes to get a good effect from it, but I know a lot of people really like this. Um, it might benefit you, but I, I don't need it anymore. Plus it's old, it's time to go. Also from Clinique is the Lash Doubling Mascara. This one has more of like a standard mascara wand, but it was just really not anything super special. I really like the High Impact Mascara from Clinique, um, but this one, I figured I would try it. I wasn't crazy about it. Let's see, Peter Thomas Roth, Lashes to Die For. This is a nice lengthening mascara, similar to Benefit's... Our work for Benefit, I should, I should like know this off the top of my head. Benefit, they're real. Wow, I'm gonna get fired for that. Um, the brush is different, but it gives you a very similar, like, lengthening effect. I want to say that this also has a lash serum built in with it that, like, helps your lashes grow. Um, but this I didn't like. No. And then the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. The thing with this is I bought it to use it because I used to use this in high school and college. And when I opened it, it was super dry and nothing came off on my lashes. But I don't know. This is... You probably recognize the tube. So many people used to use this, and it's a lot of people's first mascara, just like it was my first mascara, but too dry to use. All right, I used up a tube of, whoa, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Um, I used this on the body. I have, I don't think I've ever used this on my face, but it is nice to use on your body, especially if you have that like tight winter skin feeling going on. Um, which is when I used this. I finished this back in January. I used up the Bod Really Ripped Abs. Uh, I don't like this scent. Uh, my favorite one is Fresh Guy, which is in, like the lime green packaging, but I don't think I'm ever going to buy Bod again. Um, I've had this since I was like eight years old, and I'm not lying. I don't like it. I don't like it. It smells like straight boys. I finished a sample size of the Pericone MD. H2 Hydrating Booster Serum. This was a nice hydrating serum. Not the best one I've ever used, but it was decent. They have a whole line to go with this, so if it's something that you want to try out, um, Paracone is a little bit more expensive, but it was decent. Also from Paracone, from their H2 line, the Depuffing Eye Gel. Again, nice to use in the morning underneath your concealer or your eye cream. Um, it just helps to soothe and wake your eyes up a bit. I used a sample of the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. This one I really liked in the morning because um, it sat really nicely underneath a foundation. So you could use this kind of like a skincare primer hybrid. Um, I got this in a makeup trade, so I don't know anything about this company or where to get it, but it was actually pretty nice. I liked it. Kiehl's Gentle Exfoliating Scrub Coriander. It was alright. Not bad, but I don't know. 
also used up a sample of the Kiehl's Creme de Corps Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. This I did not like. Um, I didn't like the scent of it, but it was also too thick. So this packet was like enough for half of my arm. I don't know. I'm not going to buy that. Another moisturizer sample is the Sephora Collection moisturizer. I used this on my body, I think, because I've had samples of this before. It's too perfumed for me to use on my face, but since I had it, I used it on my body. It was fine for that. I used a sample of the Exuviance Deep Puffing Eye Serum. Um, so this was pretty nice. I used this in the mornings uh, before my regular eye cream, just to kind of help soothe my eyes and wake them up a little bit. It is nice for that. I don't know how expensive it is. I know Exuviance is a little bit up there as well. Um, not quite as much as Paracone, but I used it. This I'm very happy that I used up. So this is the CK1 foundation in 300 sand. This was my first foundation I ever bought and I finished it. Finally. I've had this for a long time. I bought this before I bought the CK1 bronzer, um, but I finally finished it earlier this year. It's really old, um, and I'm glad that I'm rid of it. Getting rid of this EOS lip balm, this was in a hit list and shit list, but it looks like it has some sort of mold around it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, um, but it, it looks like mold to me, which is weird because I haven't had it that long. I think I bought it in like November or October. That's disappointing. Uh, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. Now this I didn't actually get to use because it had broken. Um, so what I did is I broke it up the rest of the way and mixed it in with another powder I was trying to use up and repressed it. So you'll see that when it's in the empties. Um, so this is just the packaging I'm throwing away. I'm getting rid of the Clinique Fit Yellow Powder Corrector. Um, I don't have a ton of redness in my skin so it didn't do well for me. And then I tried to use it under the eyes to brighten and it just made things look dry and cakey, so I don't have use for it. I'm getting rid of it. Got two eyeliners, uh, Tarte Man Eater. This one was one of those uh, self-sharpening ones. This didn't last very long, though. I think I used this for maybe two months, and it was gone. Um, so it was a nice liner, but for how quick it ran out, I'm not going to get it again. And then my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is one of the best liquid liners on the market. Um, I prefer brush tip liners like this as opposed to felt tip liners, but it just got dried out, so it's time for that to go. Found one more mascara. This is the Sephora Collection The Mascara. Um, this is discontinued, so I'm not going to linger on that too much. From First Aid Beauty, the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I really did like this. I used this up pretty recently, I think last week. Um, it was lightweight, but it still felt hydrating. Um, I am probably going to pick this up in the future once I work through other moisturizers in my collection. The Briogeo Curl Charisma. I didn't like this. Um, it's supposed to, again, enhance your curls, but defrizz. I just didn't feel like it really did anything. I know people love Briogeo, but I'm not that bougie with my hair brands, so it's whatever. Peter Thomas Roth, the Water Drench Cloud Cream Cleanser. This was okay. Um, it's a foaming cleanser, which I have an issue with those. For some reason, all of those foaming cleansers that are like creamy and then they lather up really richly, they smell like puke to me. I have no idea why, but no, I can't do it. And it's like that. It's not just this one. It's like every Origins, First Aid Beauty, Clinique, any of them. They smell horrible to me. I don't know why. I still haven't figured that out. I'm getting rid of the Clinique Touch Base for Eyes in 10 Canvas. It's just really dry. It's cracked. It doesn't lock onto shadow that well. Um, it's, an, it's an eyeshadow primer, if you didn't know. It's, it's just not fantastic. I like the Smashbox one a lot better, so I'm getting rid of this. I used up a lighter. It sparks, but it doesn't flame, so it's... I uh, used a sample of Azaro Chrome fragrance. It was okay, but I have fragrances I like better, so I'm not going to get that. Dermalogica Overnight Retinol Repair. This was nice. Um, I don't know if I'd get the full size, but it was nice to mix in with my nighttime moisturizer. It just kind of helps to like boost cell turnover, basically. So if you're looking for a retinol, this one was pretty decent. All right, this little nub in here, this was the... Who was this by? Ofra. This is an Ofra brow pencil. I hated it. I got it in an Ipsy bag like forever ago. Um, I don't like it. It was waxy. It wasn't my brow color. It just, ugh. but I used it up. Yeah, last thing is the Alginist Power Advanced Wrinkle Fighter Serum. The full size of this is 
I want to say it's $120. My opinion, not worth it. I didn't see like any difference with this. And I know it's just a sample size and with skincare you have to use it longer. I didn't see any kind of difference though. And this lasted me a good like two, three weeks. So you would think that you would start to see something, but it didn't do nothing. So I'm not going to get that. And that was it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow me on social media. I'll link those all down below. Um, let me know what did you finish up the last few months that you're the most proud of or what was the hardest thing for you to use up because I tell you those shampoos and the foundation and bronzer, those were the worst for me. So we'll see you guys next time and remember that you are clearly beautiful.